walk pa more. Dito tayo sa cave na part ng Marble Mountain. Ang lamig dito guys. Sana yung video. Grabe talaga ito. Tignan nyo. Pero dapat maganda pa rin. Ito na yung Heaven's Gate. Hello everyone, welcome back to my another travel video. In today's video, we're going to have another round of adventure at Da Nang, Vietnam. And this is the part 2 of my Da Nang Vietnam travel vlog series. So if you haven't watched the part 1 yet, you can click the link on the description box below. Make sure there's some light. Yeah. First up, let's visit the Pink Cathedral. The time I went here, there's an ongoing mass, that's why I wasn't able to go inside. The Nang Cathedral is the only church in this city that was built during the French colonial period. The cathedral is also one of the few examples of French architecture that still remains in Da Nang. My friend nostalgia, I found you When I heard the sweet sound of the ones who I once knew so well In a voice memo from years ago Pwede kang sumakay sa elevator or pwede ka rin mag-hagdad One of the highlights was exploring the marble mountains in Da Nang And I am glad I did it I really enjoyed the natural beauty of this place, but also could learn more about the intriguing history and importance of this religious site in Vietnam. Don't you worry about me, baby. I have everything I need. If you care about me, baby, tell me why you chose to leave. Do you really think you know me? Do you think you have me all figured out? The things we do Day, night, late night Just me and you Everything that you put me through Everything that I've been feeling Do you feel it too? Walk for more Grab it up here Walk for more The marble mountains in Da Nang are a group of unique five limestone and marble hills in the Ngu Han Son district. The mountain's sheer and porous limestone is punctuated by caves, hiking trails, and tunnels which are fitted with the spectacular Buddhist and Hindu shrines.
During the old days, the Marble Mountains were a popular travel destination for royals and other noble class citizens. It is also often frequented by the monks of Mahayana Buddhism due to the numerous shrines and temples on the mountains. Guys, ganyan ka taas. Ayan. Majin. Tapos mag-abot sa baba. Habi. Heaven's Gate pa more. One of the most unique experiences you can have in this city is taking a basket boat ride in Hoi An, locally known as Thong Chai. The 
history of the basket boat in Hoi An dates back over 2,000 years to the Cham people who settled in the area. Originally designed for fishing in shallow waters, the circular shape of these boats allowed the fishermen to easily move around and collect fish from their nets. Interestingly, some people said that the Hoi An basket boat was first introduced in Vietnam during the French colonial period as a way to avoid excessive boat ownership taxes. The French believed that a basket boat was not a boat but a basket and therefore did not tax the owner of the basket boat. Lose myself, look here I know my way you're right. I've been growing up far too long Now it's time to start growing down And that's a wrap on our day filled with exciting and unique activities. I hope you enjoy joining me in this thrilling journey. See you guys on my next adventure. Bye!